as Europe battles to meet demand for fibre in an industry going through unparalleled transformation. One of the biggest and yet largely unknown footprints in the market is already held by Sterlite Tech of India. Here at the FTTH conference in Valencia, Total Telecom TV is talking to the global services provider head, Unkit Ergoan. Unkit, Sterlite Tech, tell us about this footprint that you already have right across Europe. Sure, thank you for having us. Uh, Sterlight has been uh, very active, uh, not only in uh, Europe, but globally. Uh, we are present in over 100 countries. And uh, for us, clearly, whether it's Europe, Middle East, Africa, this is one region where we've been very active. We've been talking to all the tier one operators, uh, whether it's Orange, whether it's British Telecom, all the leading operators, Vodafone, we're amongst the few globally qualified by people like Ericsson, etc. So we're absolutely focused on building the latest generation technologies. But really, our service is not just the fiber optic cables. We're also doing uh, software, we're doing fiber, we're doing cable and we're also doing end-to-end -end solutions of uh, fiber to the home. So this is the services that we provide in Europe and uh, all our customers are with us for long term. We believe in long term partnerships and we're very excited about the growth that's happening in some of the region countries uh, like uh, the UK, France uh, and now recently we're seeing in Italy some very interesting growth out there. So you're much more of a total services provider than, than, than just a cable company? Absolutely. We call ourselves a silicon to software uh, because one of the interesting things to understand about us is we're one of the just five or six companies which actually makes our own glass preform. So we actually start from pure silica, we have the gases and the power, everything on site. We make our own glass preform, we make fiber out of that and then we cable it. And then in India, for example, we also do our own deployment not only for the operators, for the government, for defense, but also for smart cities. And more and more we are keen that we take those solutions also globally. And we are very keen to partner with telecom operators and installers for smart cities and defense projects globally. That's certainly what you call a total solution provider, doesn't it? Um, just going from there and talking about the future, how do you see 5G and IoT impacting on the market? Sure. So we did some uh, research internally to look at when the world moved from 3G to 4G, how much fiber did it use? And when the world is now moving from 4G to 5G, we believe that 5G will be about an 8 to 10 year deployment cycle. It will not happen overnight. And we believe that even if just uh, two times the fiber uh, is deployed in the 5G era versus the 4G, then we're looking at a massive uh, deployment of at least uh, 700 to 800 million fiber kilometers uh, every year. So that is the opportunity that is there. Clearly, it uh, requires a lot of cooperation between the municipalities, between the government, uh, between the installers and the fiber and cable manufacturers. So this is, requires a huge ecosystem and we are very positive that this will come together as long as there's a national uh, need for it. Uh, some of the countries that are taking the lead we have seen are like Japan, Korea, China uh, and even in India uh, we are actively working with the government to see how we can bring 5G not in 2020 but ideally by 2019 itself. Okay well look thank you very much for talking to us here in Valencia. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you.